Wood, leaf, and seed armor for your fairy folk? There are many forms of plant-based armor you can use for your fairies, nymphs, and other beings in your fantasy world building. One can use wood as armor. Even in history they did this. This armor can be made in the form of slats, scales, lamlaw, or even woven like a basket. Who knew that baskets could protect you? This armor can even be hardened with resin to provide greater protection against metal weapons. Now where are you getting your resin though? Cord can also be used to make armor. These cords can be made out of fine plant fibers or out of coarser material like tree bark. And this can be wrapped or weaved into armor. It can simply be like a wrap tunic, like this actual historical example, or it could be weaven like this other, kind of in a form like a basket. Either way, it can provide a good armor, and this, since it is textile-like armor, it can be hardened with either salt or resin to provide greater protection against sharp metal weapons. For more fantastical armor, one can use leaves. Leaves can be layered together and hardened with resin, forming hard scales. They will also have a quite nice aesthetic and to make a scale or lamina armor that will operate similar to paper armor. Also, one can use husks from like corn or petals or anything of that type that's that fibrous type of material and layer them to make scales or lames of this type. Seeds could also be used to make a fantastical type of armor, though rather large seeds would be required. And this would be mostly limited to scale armor either made by drilling a hole through the top of the seed and sewing it to a backing, or by gluing it to a backing with resin, though the glued method will not hold together as well. The seeds can even be hardened with resin to make them more resistant to impacts, or to make larger scales out of the seeds. Last but not least, one can use shells, like from coconuts, or geraniums, or other hard-shelled fruits that you might have in your fantasy world to make a scale lamina armor. These could also be harmed with resin to make them more resistant to metal weapons. Now these five types of armor were not used very common in history with the exception to wood and cord which were rather common. That was due to the availability of metal and leather to make armor and the lack of prohibitions against doing such. But maybe in your fantasy world there was a limit to the ability to work metal or there's prohibitions against using leather for armor or using anything animal based. So go ahead, use these five types of plant based armors, wood, cord, leaf, seed, and shell in your fancy world and have fun.